Good morning. Let me read to you today out of 1 Kings chapter 19. This is verses 19 through 21. So Elijah went and found Elisha, son of Shaphat, plowing a field. There were twelve teams of oxen in the field, and Elisha was plowing with the twelfth team. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak across his shoulders and then walked away. Elisha left the, stand, the oxen standing there, ran after Elijah, and said to him, First, let me go and kiss my father and mother goodbye, and then I will go with you. Elijah replied, Go on back, but think about what I have done to you. So Elisha returned to his oxen and slaughtered them. He used the wood from the plow to build a fire to roast their flesh. He passed around the meat to the townspeople, and they all ate. Then he went with Elijah as his assistant. You know, I was 20 years old when God called me into the ministry. It was while I was on a mission trip with friends in Houston, Texas, and we'd gone to work at a mission center that was run by Mildred McWhorter from the Home Mission Board, which later became known as the North American Mission Board. While there, the Lord spoke to me, spoke to my heart about the need for someone to share the gospel, and I responded. Now, I tell people I had an Isaiah type of calling. You know, the Lord called Isaiah and said, hmm, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And Isaiah says, I'll go. I had that type of calling instead of a Jeremiah type of calling, where the Lord came to Jeremiah and said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I consecrated you. I set you apart as a prophet unto the nations. I didn't have that kind of call. I just had the call that said, somebody needs to preach to these people. Oh, I'll go. I had that kind of call. Now, when I came home from that mission trip, <clears throat> I was so excited. I told my parents what had happened and how God had called me into the ministry and that I was going to switch my major in college and then I was going to go on to seminary. I clearly remember my dad's response. He tried to talk me out of it. Hmm. It wasn't exactly the reception that I thought I would get. At first I was kind of stunned. And then I got kind of angry. Now, my dad is a godly man. He has taught Sunday school for over 60 years. And he's chaired several pulpit committees. When I say several, not just three or four, but several pulpit committees. But he tried to talk me out of going into the ministry. Now, I don't really know how much effort he put into that conversation, but I do think I understand why. If he could talk me out of it, then I shouldn't be in ministry anyway. I needed to be all in. I needed to be sure of the calling. But if I was called, I needed to go. Now that's kind of what Elijah is doing with Elisha here. Think about what I have done for you. God had called Elisha to be Elijah's successor. It was time to be all in. When we choose to follow the Lord, it isn't a part-time call. Even if we have a full-time vocation elsewhere, following the Lord is not a part-time call. He's looking for us to be all in. Now, if that means that we need to sacrifice the oxen and spread the roasted meat around so that we can't go back, okay. But it means that when God calls us, we need to be ready to be all in in serving Him. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for the call you have placed on my life, but not just my life, our life. You have called us to be all in. You want us to follow you, to serve you. And Lord, 
whatever that looks like, whether we hold down another vocation and serve you as a teacher, as a business owner, whatever that looks like, we pray, Lord, that you would remind us that we need to be all in. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends, pray for us. We're traveling back today. Decided to head on back home today and have an extra day at home. And we'll see you tomorrow as we share our chair side chat in the morning. God bless you, friends. Hope you have a great weekend.